Here's the starting 11 for Austin FC2 and Brett Utley's crew as it's Marcus Alstrup getting the start. St. Louis City 2 looks like this. It'll be John Klein and then that scored last week's goal. Brendan McSorley at the top. That was just about a month ago to come at defiance. They played that U.S. Open Cup game in the middle of that and Houston Dynamo 2. But we're underway here. Austin FC 2 and St. Louis City 2 here on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. The lone show in town in MLS Next Pro. It's whipped to the sideline. Toure knocks it down. Can't hold on. Then commits the foul as Makai Joyner amplifies the energy early in this one. And yet again, the game all by itself. Klein was working around. He thought that he was legal to get by, but there was no such agreement from any of the officials on that side. And it really is starting to resonate. It's not just about the pathway for academy players, but it's also about the exposure that young players, you know, Young player sitting outside today in the bleachers will be between the lines in a few years. This ball whipped across. It does take a ricochet. Jaden Reed was glancing in on that back post, but it trickles out in the end. A little bit of wind. Taps it to Klein, gives it right back. Silly. It's a different angle. Swings it all the way out top here. Antwi shoots. And it whistles high above the crossbar in the end. Long ball down the yard, and it bounces around, and it is a giveaway in the end. Burton trickles it forward, thrown around, time and space. Farkalon, he gets denied. Second ball bounced down. Tenth minute of action, scoreless so far, each side with a shot. Long switch of field here once again, Farkalon, the 20. Klein, that ball looked like it hit a hand. Instead, it comes down. Advantage played forward here now. Joyner finds an angle. Joyner crosses it through. Might have taken just a little bit of a deflection. And it gets cleared all the way back out. Oliveras there. Here's another look at that early opportunity that Joyner was able to find the edge against Toure. It does look like in the you can hear the proudest laugh in the background. Here's a great pass forward. Reed throws it through the middle and Klein hits it too hard in the end. Just over the top of the crossbar once more. Bouncing ball hit into the air. Cycled around by Deonda. Slamming on the brakes. Ramirez gathers and draws a foul. Find that way. One side or the other. Find the way to get that goal when you're up by one already. To add to a second, here's a foul again. On the slide tackle from Seth Antwi. And he gets shown a yellow card as well for his troubles. Long ball on the switch. Faudry circling back to it. Aruhanga. Toure whips it across. Excellent clearance and works as a counter attacking catalyst. Joyner. Waits for it. Reinforcements have arrived. Klein's pass sends Reed retreating. Reed able to pound it through. And here comes out. Second ball knocked down. On tweet. Audrey again the target. He's done well with his head here. What's the pressure on? But Tyson Pierce. One of the youngest players on the field handles that moment very, very well. And this Austin crew. The defending champs are back in action next Saturday, April 20th, when they head out west to Austin handling some of this pressure a lot better now. St. Louis has had to slow down just a bit. Farkelon hustles. A lot of pressure here. This clearance will only reach as far as the middle of the yard. Bouncing it back. Here's a long shot attempt. Allstrip covers it up pretty cleanly in the end. That was Juan Cousin up in Tampa Bay with South Florida and the Bulls. And this is going to be a card as well. And now a little bit of extracurriculars after the fact as well. 
Montefaro ensuring that McSorley hears about it. And McSorley is going to go in the books as well for his troubles. And it gives players a real opportunity to showcase their skills and showcase their talents. You really do get a wide variety of players. And here it looks like we're going to get another booking. It is Torres. Baruhanga. Farkelin. Swings it around to the back post. What a header that was by Faudry. Oliveris, though, gets a paw out and throws it away. Joiner once more. Two defenders over there. Is able to get it in. McSorley! Allstrip punches it over. Some big bodies inside of the 18. Farkelin strikes it. Audrey the closest target. Bodies tumble on the back post. Toure gets to it. Midway through our first half stoppage time. Toure allows his team to gather themselves. Swings it across the field. Once Farkelin, once more. And then it's at the stage on the free kick. Gets another go at this one. And it's just over the top of the crossbar. It's tied at two in terms of shots on target. And there is your first half whistle. So scoreless at the break. How does this 45 minutes turn out? St. Louis has already been to a couple penalties. They've won one and lost one. Austin in just its third match of the regular season. Looks for a winner. Faudry finds himself behind everybody, but that ball matches this season. St. Louis has seen both teams score at least one goal. So far, scoreless so far here tonight. Faudry. Silly is over in that dark corner. Raises both hand, pings it to the back post. Joiner closest to it initially, but Kinsner steps up and heads it over. Played 60 and 30 minutes respectively. And every week now, you're starting to see MLS Next Pro alumni find themselves. Academy, we talked about the Generation Cup at halftime. Next pro to the first team. This cross goes to the back post. McSorley heads. It hits the crossbar, but a foul was whistled prior to that. Sheet of MLS Next Pro alumni in MLS. Here's a giveaway. McSorley. Klein finding the angle. Klein shooting. Allstrup gets both hands to it like a volleyball player. And St. Louis with a corner kick. Long bending cross in. A race to the second ball. Thrown right back in. Two traffic. And here's a race forward now. Faudry. We get a whistle back behind everything, and a card is coming out. Yet again, and this one, the third. Farkelin, what a twist that is. Farkelin with choices, throws it to the middle, and Burton skies it. Sixtieth minute of play, scoreless between Austin and St. Louis. Michael Watrang with you are at the park here in Austin at Palmer Field. It's a good counter here. Farkelin thought about Faudry instead. Elects to take his defender on. Out swinger. Klein heads it away. And Toure. We'll stand over the top of this one. Burton. Flies it out wide. Faudry. Ball takes a deflection in. Dangerous clearance right in front of Ned Oliveras. I was watching that one. Burton. Flies it out wide. Faudry. Ball takes a deflection in. Dangerous clearance right in front of Ned Oliveras. This time it'll be played short. Torres. Ramirez, out top it goes to the back post, clipped back through, and it hits the side netting. 
Well, this is a very familiar sight for those familiar with this series. Last year, it was scoreless after the first hour, just as it is tonight. Arkelin, too hefty on that one. Reed pounces on it. Neither side has used a sub so far either in this match. So corner kick oncoming. Jaden Reed studies his target. Bends this one to the back. Post! Knocked down. Loose inside of the 18. St. Louis bounces it in. And a flying goal for the visitors. Brendan McSorley breaks through, and St. Louis has a 1-0 lead. Second straight week with a goal for McSorley. And it just winds up on him. Relentless and ruthless indeed. Well, let's see if lessons are learned as this Warrants another booking to enter at the next stoppage for St. Louis to get some fresh legs out there. As well as Joyner, those two played such a key role in this match. Lens and I forward well over his head. Reed, shifty. Reed throws it around. Lover and Betcher salivating in front of the target. Pine retreats. But the points you get at the beginning of the season make the end of the season a little less stressful. Glover decides to take a swing at it. This ball bounces in. Klein punches. All strip. Wow. What great reflexes that is. And Austin will bring in a trio to make this stretch run. Asking for the flag to be up. Reed will not get that call. Deonda slips. And it's taken away. But the angle not there. And a foul committed. That's on Kuzain. He's been booked as well. Out there as well. And the final change will be Brian Arellano. So three changes. Baruhanga, Faudry, and Toure. We'll see their shifts come to an end. Picks it up, and his pass goes back. Glover gladly accepts. Betcher. What fine work that is. And a card will come out this time around. And This ball bounces in the box. Here's a shot. Holstrup shaves it. Saves it, rather. Oliveras sends that ball along. It gets deflected by Faudry. Or no, check that. That is Pinot, and he's going to pick up a yellow. He was arguing that Oliveras had come outside of the box. Long ball to this sideline. Knocked out. Whipping it to the back post. There is a runner over there. It's loose. Bounces down. Burton misses everything. St. Louis perhaps white knuckling this one goal lead. Here's a ball into the 18. Oliveras goes back. He ends up in his cage. Didn't get a piece of it. Well, Glover is going to take that foul. He's going to take a booking with him as well. The 17-year-old. We've gone past the minimum five minutes. 
This corner taken short. Torres. There's your full-time whistle. It won't even end in a chance. And Austin loses at home for the fourth consecutive match.